in these vector style uh, examination questions, uh, all that we're doing is we're, we're adding vector notation, or i's, j and k notation, to uh, Newton's second law and the UVATs, really, um, with some position vectors involved as well. And in this first question, we're given a mass of, of a fifth of a kilogram and two forces, and we're asked to find the acceleration. Now, I know that, that um, to find the acceleration, I can use F equals MA. And in this case, F and M, or sorry, F and A are both uh, vectors. But the overall force that we have is when we add the two forces, individual forces, together. So our overall force here, in terms of I, I have 3I and minus I, that's 2I. In terms of J, I have minus 1J. And in terms of K, I have minus 2K. I'm just writing that as a vector notation. And that's equal to the mass, one fifth times acceleration. Well, to find the acceleration, then all I have to do is multiply three by five. And so it's 10 minus five and minus 10. And so that's my acceleration in meters per second squared. I could write that if I wanted as 10i minus 5j minus 10k. The second stage we're asked to find the velocity of p when t is 2 and its initial velocity is this. So I'm going to write u it's a vector, so it's 3, 5, and 4. And I just write the i's, j's, and k's again as a column vector. So this is um, 3i, 5j, and 4k. Um, and we're asked to find the velocity after 2 seconds. Now we've just worked out the acceleration. And so if we want the final velocity, that's v equals u plus a t. The final velocity, v, is the initial velocity. We've got 2i, oops, 5j, and 4k, plus 2 seconds times the acceleration, 10 minus 5 and minus 10. And so if we wanted to do that longhand, that's 2, 5, and 4 plus 2 times 10 is 20, 2 times minus 5 is minus 10, and 2 times minus 10 is minus 20. And when we add the i terms together, we get 22i, uh, we get minus 5j, and we get minus 16k meters per second. The final part of this question asks to find position vector after two seconds. The only problem is that this, this uh, uh, particle P doesn't actually start at the origin. We're told it starts 2i plus j plus 3k. So what we need to do is find well, what is its displacement, how far has it gone in those two seconds and in what direction. So it's ut plus a half a t squared. Again s and u and a are all vectors. And we're just going to fill in for that. Now, the u, the initial velocity, we already know, is 3, 5, and 4. And we're going to multiply that by the time 2 seconds. Plus again, a half times t squared is a half times 2 squared, which is 2. And the acceleration we've given is 10, minus 5, and minus 10. And so the displacement s, let's put it in here, is 2 times uh, 3i, which is 6, plus 2 times 10, which is 26i. It's 2 times 5 plus 2 times minus 5, it's no j. And 2 times 4 is 8k, and 2 times minus 10 is minus 20, so it's minus 12k. Now the position vector, uh, which I'm going to hit with an r, of two position vector at time two seconds is where it started, which we were told was 2i plus j 
plus 3k added on to this displacement so 26 0 and minus 12 and so overall the position vector at 2 seconds is 28i plus j uh, minus 9k This next one is slightly different. We're told the constant force F newtons acts on a particle, and we have an initial velocity for P. We're told it's 2 kilograms initial velocity. Um, and we're given a final velocity after 4 seconds. So the acceleration we can find again using our UVATS V equals U plus A T. The final velocity we're told after 4 seconds V is 35 minus 8 J plus 10k and that's equal to the initial velocity which we're told is 3i minus 4j uh, plus 2k plus the time which is 4 seconds times the acceleration so just changing that around we can say that 4a oops um, let's roll out that line should go under the, the a 4a is equal to in terms of i's, it's 35 minus 3, which is 32. And in terms of j's, it's minus 8 uh, minus minus 4, which is negative 4. And in terms of k's, it's 10 subtract 2, which is 8. And so our acceleration is simply uh, this vector, uh, this vector here, divided by 4. All the individual parts divided by 4. So that's 8i uh, minus 1j and 2k meters per second squared. We're then asked to, to find out uh, what's the value of f. And again, quite often, whenever we have these, these equations, we have uvats mixed with Newton's second law, which is f equals ma. We've just found the acceleration, so the force is got by multiplying the mass to by the acceleration, 8 minus 1, 2. And so the overall force is 16i minus 2j plus 4k newtons. And again, if we wanted to, we could write that as 16i minus 2j plus 4k newtons. Make the bracket around it all. Either of these. Uh, notations are, are good. Um, I'm going to maybe leave my answer like this because the original question was all in terms of bias j's and k's rather than in vector notation. Uh, but certainly doing these questions in terms of the vector notation is a lot more convenient. Finally, what's the magnitude of f? Well, if we know um, that this is force f, the magnitude is simply using Pythagoras' theorem. And the way that we Notate that is the magnitude of f, and we know that that's the square root of the i component squared, 16 squared, plus the j component squared, I'm going to say plus 2 squared even though it's minus 2, because when I square either of them I get 4, and plus 4 squared. And when I do that, that's the square root of 276 which is about 16.6 uh, newtons, and that's to three significant figures. Unless you're told otherwise, give your final answers to three significant figures.